Hi, it's Elizabeth from The Toy Hoarder. Today, I have some Shopkins toys. It's a guilty face. I know. I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, I didn't think I was gonna get into this, but they're just so cute. I can't, oh, oh. This is Dustin's fault. He made me, I can't help it. And they come in Pringles containers, guys. I love Pringles. Well. I used to love Pringles. I actually haven't eaten Pringles in years, you guys. Oh, these are so adorable. It's like little tiny food toys that come in a, their own separate little container. So you can see in this one, it's a little grape juice and he comes in a little grape juice bottle. And then there's a bunch of surprise ones inside of the Pringles bottle. These are called Real Littles, but they're made by Shopkins. Now, sadly, these two are not containers that you can play with these or store these in. They're just a little cardboard piece. So that's super, super disappointing. Anyway, these are made by Moose Toys, and here is the back. It looks like there's some special gold ones inside of here. I've never opened a pack like this, so I don't really know. I do have a couple Shopkins that someone gave me, and this is how this started, so <laughs> I don't know. Dustin got super addicted to these, and then we had to pick these up, but of course, I had to do the video because... Honestly, I have a great time unboxing these with you guys, and I love doing the surprise things. This is so exciting. Okay, blind bags are my favorite. Blind bags, boxes, whatever you want to call this. Mmm, I can't even. Okay, we are doing the cheddar cheese Pringles one first. It has the grape guy inside, so I'm going to get him open. I have no idea what the best plan is for this. Okay, I'm hoping I can just peel the plastic from the cardboard right here. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Jeez. Okay, there's some perforation between the plastic further down. If you are giving this to kids, don't let this open don't let them open this on their own because this seems highly dangerous. Oh, look, there's a little I was gonna say cash register, but it's, I think it's a little micro. No, it's a little cash register. It's just an odd one. I don't know. I guess this was the groceries that they were checking out. So there's a paper in here, which is cool to show us all the ones that we can get. This is so disappointing that this is just a cardboard piece, and so is this one. I really wanted them to be little boxes like this Pringles container, which I'm totally keeping because I love that so much. Okay. Got that out. It doesn't really stand very well because it's made of super flimsy cardboard. Come on, little grape juice. Come on! Oh, it's a little grape juice pitcher. I'll show you guys in a second. Okay, let me get both of them open so that we don't have to watch me do this twice. And I'm just gonna kind of drag these out because the other one went kind of poorly. I won't lie. Oh my! So here's the Welch's grape juice. It's just a cardboard piece. Here's the strawberry pop tarts, but unfortunately, again, just a cardboard piece. And then we've got these little guys in here. Okay, I've made a sufficient mess. Yay! Here's our Pringles. Mm, oh, so I didn't show these up close. So here's the grape juice and the uh, Chef Boyardi spaghetti and meatballs. Again, all cardboard pieces, so there's really nothing you can do with these, so just throw them out. It's one of those things that they did to make sure that there was extra packaging so that it costs more to ship and it costs more to buy and you feel like you're getting more than you're actually getting, you know, one of those scams. Anyway, super unhappy about that, Moose. Make them into actual boxes if you're going to put them in there. Otherwise, don't bother. Just, you know, give us the Pringles thing in a container. That would be fine and dandy, too, so I don't know, you guys. Here's a little paper that comes inside of it. It looks like there are breakfast ones, dinner ones, drinks, desserts, and then there's three limited edition. There's pantry ones, there's shoes, sweet snacks, savory snacks. Oh my goodness, there are over 50 to collect. It's insane. I'm going to run through the list right here real quick. Just showing you. I'm not reading all of these. That's insane. If you want to pause and look at them, feel free. If you need a better picture of it, message me on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. And I will get you guys a better picture if you so desire. But anyway, actually, I guess I should leave that out so we can checklist them. Oh, guys. So can I actually... 
Oh, okay. So the bottom of the grape juice container opens so that you can put the grape juice guy in there. So here's the Welch's grape juice container. It actually looks like a full, real Welch's grape juice container, but miniaturized. And then we've got the grape juice pitcher, which is kind of like the Kool-Aid pitcher guy. I think that's super fun. And he fits inside of this little plastic container, which I really like that the ones that you're supposed to keep are actually plastic for the most part. I think I got one that was a cereal box and it was cardboard and got crushed. So that was super unfortunate, but the ones that are actual toys are really fun. And then look at this Pringles container, you guys, look at it. It's not the right proportions when they shrunk it down, but it has to be wide enough to fit the character inside. And there are a couple holes in it, so it doesn't get stuck. But before I put him inside, take a look at him. He's even got little tiny arms and he's got this little chip falling off of his stack. It's so cute, you guys. Okay, so by the way, that wouldn't happen in a normal Pringles can because it's not wide enough. The chips are, the chip Pringle, the ha, the Pringles chip container is just wide enough to fit the chip stack. If one fell off, it would not fit on the side of it. Just not practical at all, you guys. Here's what the containers look like. And then here's the back of them, sides, top. It looks like the little actual top, oh, guys. It's just a, there's an S for Shopkins on the bottom. Okay, it says you're supposed to tear here, but I want to save these little containers, so I'm not going to tear this piece off. I'm going to try to just, I'm going to try to open it from the top. It is taped across the top right here. Okay, good. I can still open it from the top, and I guess I probably should have done the cheese one first. Okay, I'll get them both open though, I guess. They're, they come in little blind bags in here. Little yellow, oh, a little yellow strip of blind bag. So there's all the ones that come in the cheese one, and then this is another yellow strip of blind bag. So I guess they all come in yellow bags. They're slightly see-throughs. I can sort of see what they're about to be, but I'm not cheating, you guys. Okay. These are so, these are so adorable. What is wrong with me? I don't know. Also, never Play with these when you're hungry. Never open these when you're hungry. This is, this is so dangerous. I'm a little bit hungry right now and I'm even more hungry now that I started doing this video for you guys. So there's that. Okay. I am going to cut open the end one. I guess I could cut them apart, but that seems like too much extra work. All right. We have some Twinkle Toes Skechers. Well, Twinkle Toes by Skechers, which is, I guess, a pair of shoes. I'm gonna scoot up a little bit here. All right, so here are the Twinkle Toes in this little adorable box by Skechers. And then inside there's another bag and this is where the character one will be. So lots of unboxing for these actually, if your kids like unboxing stuff, help them get it out of the main container and then give them the Pringles container and they can definitely open all these little bags and that'll be fine. Oh my goodness, oh, okay. Mm. I did not realize that any of the Shopkins were going to be covered in glitter. This glitter does come off everywhere. I will show you. It's a little happy shoe. Apparently they only sell one shoe at a time, which is kind of obnoxious, but I'm going to be coating that in clear nail polish later so that that does not come off all over everything. So, okay. I'm going to start putting these aside here and making a trash pile down here. Alrighty. Next one. I can't even remember when I told you guys I was doing the cheese one first. Was this the cheese one? I don't know, you guys. Oh my goodness, what is this? <gasps> mac and cheese? Guys, guys, it's mac and cheese with an easy open lid. So there's that. It's kind of hard to see the logo on this one, to be honest. There's a couple holes in the top of it. And then we got our little guy inside. He's probably like, I don't know, a macaroni noodle would make sense. I wonder if these things have names. I didn't look. Oh, he's actually a spoonful of macaroni. It looks like a macaroni hedgehog, you guys. A macaroni hedgehog on a spoon. Okay, that's beautiful. That 
completes my soul. I love that so much. In this case, it's actually a plastic case too, so that's really fun. Oh, again, I don't really have any of these except those couple that I got given to, uh, that were given to me by a friend. So, oh, guys, I love Rice Krispie Treats. Unfortunately, this box is cardboard. Same thing with the shoe box. These are really flimsy boxes and I wish they made them out of thin cardboard instead because yes, they want them to be like the big boxes, but they're so much thinner and smaller that we're gonna crush them. And if you try to keep all your toys together, the other toys will crush them. It's just not, it's not ideal and I'm unhappy about the scenario. Oh my goodness, this is kind of gross looking actually. Okay, it's two marshmallows that look like they were half chewed on the top and then stuck to each other. I didn't really know about that. That's, ugh. I don't, ugh. I don't really know, that's, that's very odd. Maybe they were supposed to be the Rice Krispies Treats, but they're white, so I guess they're marshmallows? I don't know. I don't know, you guys. That one was kind of weird. I don't know how I feel about that. Let's see what else we got. Shall we? All right, let me get the whole thing off. So at least extra, extra crumb stuff. Oh, <gasps> brown sugar cinnamon pop tarts, y'all. Brown sugar cinnamon and strawberry are like the two flavors of pop tarts that I eat the most. Actually, you know that's not really true. I also eat the s'mores ones and the cookies and cream. Cookies and cream is my favorite. I love Oreos. They are my jam. It will be really dangerous if they actually make an Oreo one and it's in here. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see this Pop-Tart guy. Again, this is made of that thin cardboard, which is not only easy to crush, but is also very difficult to get open. So be careful with that. I love that all the little activities and comics are on here. It says, take this hottie for a turtle drive. That So the turtle or iguana is talking about a camper and he says take this hottie for a turtle drive and the pop tart says back to him yes meow test drive i don't know my eyes aren't as good as they used to be apparently either and there's a pop tart at a fortune teller lady and the fortune teller lady says you need to get your affairs in order like now <laughs> it says previously on real pastries of battle creek the <laughs> Strawberry one is talking to the uh, chocolate sundae one, and she says, you're a mess. So that's cute that there's little comics in here. Very detailed little boxes, which makes me so sad that they're so flimsy, like you're supposed to throw them away. Also, I didn't mean to close that. I don't want to do that. Okay. I need to see this Pop-Tart in here. I'm very excited. Oh no, someone bit his head off. Well, I guess the very top of his head here. Oh, this looks so delicious. I mean, that frosting looks like the actual frosting here. Good thing the pastry doesn't look too, too real. And the inner stuff, oh, it's rubber. It's stretchy rubber inside of here. Guys, oh, that's so weird. I don't, okay. I didn't know they made them like that. This is, this is more entertaining than I expected it to be. Oh no, I hope I don't get into the habit of collecting all of these. That will be so bad, you guys. Uh-oh, another cardboard box. It is Nutrigrain Soft Baked Breakfast Bars. So here's this box. Super cute. Super thin, flimsy cardboard that's hard to open. How do your kids have the patience for this nonsense? Ugh, oh, I need to work on my virtues, clearly. All right. Let's see what this Nutri-Green bar, I guess, looks like. Oh my, it's very much like the Pop-Tart. Oh, ew. Okay, it's got like a... <laughs> it's got a jelly center that's actually kind of squishy and almost a little sticky. It's very strange. And then it's got, it's got kind of the grains etched in there. So that's interestingly different, but cute, I guess. Kind of sad that someone took a bite out of each of these and then just left it, but I guess it would be very difficult to tell what it was if um, if there hadn't been the filling coming out. I don't, I don't know, guys. I don't know. We did. Yes! Yes! I don't know why, but I really wanted the hot dog one, you guys, because this is just. I don't. 
I don't know, this is very 4th of July and it makes me happy and reminds me of childhood because I mean, who didn't eat a hot dog in their childhood? I, mean, I say a hot dog. Who didn't eat 500 million hot dogs in their childhood, right? Okay, guys, I've got to see this little hot dog one. Oh my goodness. Yes, it's a little hot dog in a bun and he's got mustard on. It's so cute. Look at it. Aww. Okay, that's adorable. That's totally my favorite one so far. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Almost done. This is the last one in the Pringles box. Okay. Oh, yay. I got a plastic box, you guys. Crunch and Munch Buttery Toffee. It's popcorn with peanuts. Okay. Is this a real life food? Because I've never heard of this, but now I really want to go buy this. <laughs> Popcorn and peanuts. That sounds... <gasps> it's the ultimate circus food, right? Now you don't have to decide which one you're going to buy. You can buy this one. Yes. Now they just need to cracker mix it with Cracker Jacks, you know? So just put a toy in it like Cracker Jacks had. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be super awesome. I'm very excited about it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay, this is like an exploded popcorn kernel with some peanuts as a hair bow, and she's got a gold inner kernel on the back of her. This is actually, this is just strange. Strange, but cute, but strange, but I can't imagine actually being the person to design all these things. This is, this is crazy, but I do like this box better. Okay. So that's all the ones that we got out of the cheesy Pringles container. Now, I only have these two packs, but they do have, you know, multiples of each of these packs. So what I want to know is, if I buy another container that has the cheese Pringles and the grape guy in it, will I get the same blind bags? Did you get the same blind bags? Or am I going to get different blind bags? Because I only bought one of each because I wasn't really sure and I didn't want to have all a whole bunch of doubles. That's, that's not any fun. Anyway, let me know down in the comments if you do know about that. Oh, and then I guess I can put these guys back in here. Okay, there we go, got them all in there and then I can just close that back up. And I've got my little can of Pringles toy food things. These are cute. So these are kind of fun to play with with larger dolls, like a, a a posable 12 inch doll something like a barbie or a mattel barbie i don't know what they call them it's not barbie but they've got uh different uh mattel and hasbro dolls and they've got barbies and they've got knockoff barbies I don't know. about a 12 inch doll would be fun to play with these with because now they can interact with the food or you can pretend they're eating the food okay ready 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 here are the items that came in the regular pringles so we've got guys this is gonna be so bad for me on any of the foods I actually like. We got a Cheez-Its box, and this one is exciting because it does come in a plastic box. This is what doesn't make sense. Regular Cheez-Its come in a cardboard box. They should have made it in the crummy container. I mean, I'm not, I'm happy they made it in the plastic container, but I just don't really understand how they decide what they're gonna do with it. I want them all to be plastic containers so they can all be toys because all these ones that are gonna get crushed, they're just gonna get crushed. It's not, it's not feasible. I'm not happy about it. I didn't look too closely at the booklet and I haven't seen many shop kicks. So these are, all, these are all brand new to me. And guys, this is like a super puppy Cheez-It and I don't know how to describe, I guess it's glitter on it, but surprisingly the glitter doesn't come off and it's very textured. So it looks like, it looks like it's actually covered in cheese, which is super fun. Okay. That's awesome. So we got that one. Let's see who else. Ooh, Frosted Flakes. This one is in another cardboard box, which is unfortunate. Oh, I didn't show you guys up close, sorry. So here is the Frosted Flakes box. So cute. Again, not the right proportions either, but it doesn't bother me that much, and most of the kids that collect these won't notice anyway, so... I don't know, I guess they could have scaled them down better, but... I'd rather them make the toys more efficient than make the toys strangely in order to fit into the packaging. Oh my goodness! It's like a little clear bag, and it's got a big old frosted flake inside of it. 
This is too cute, you guys. Oh, it's so hard to see. I don't know how you can see it through this, uh, through this plastic. Hold on. All right, there you go. Now you can see it a little bit better. Look at this. Look at this little frosted flake. And then it's, it's not attached in there. It kind of bounces around and jiggles and it's winking at you. It's got a little arm out. It's so cute, you guys. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll put it back in. Oh, hey, a cereal toy. Okay, so do I put this in my cereal toy playlist? Because I feel like, I mean, I did open a box of cereal, kind of, and there's cereal in it, sort of, but that is the toy. Guys, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with this one, but that's super fun. Okay, next one. What is this? Oh my. I believe this is... Oh, so it's not a shepherd's pie. It's a chicken pot pie. So here is the box for this. Thank goodness it is a plastic box. Super excited about that. Sorry, I get these out of the way and I got stuff everywhere. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's an exploded chicken pot pie. So now it kind of looks like she's got this ponytail of the broccoli and carrots and chicken or whatever else is in a chicken pot pie. That's cool. Okay, next baggy section. I've lost count now, but there are four left. Oh, <gasps> guys, Fruit Loops. So, oh, sorry, I can still show you the whole box. So here's the Fruit Loops box. We got two cereal toys in this one. That's crazy, right? Okay. So what is our toy in the Fruit Loops box? Is it going to be similar to the toy in the in the French Toast box? In the Frosted Flakes box? I just got all food on the brain now. I'm going to probably end this video and then go eat. This is terrible. Oh my goodness, there are little bitty beads in here that are different colors to look like Fruit Loops. And she's got this adorable little uh-oh kind of thing going on here. Oh, okay. That's super cute. I really like the cereal ones a lot. Those are fun. And I have tons of cereal here. I don't know if you guys have seen my cereal toy videos, but I've got a whole bunch of cereal toy unboxing videos. So you should check those out if you're interested in something like that. Oh, birthday cake Rice Krispie Treats. Okay, so we got the original Rice Krispie Treat, but we didn't get this guy yet. So I wonder what this one looks like. Also, I wonder if we'll get any doubles between these two packs. Oh, I don't know, you guys. I don't know enough about these. Okay. Goodness. Just drop it all over the place. Okay, so maybe it is supposed to be a Rice Krispie Treat. It's not the right color, though. Rice Krispie Treats are sort of a yellowish color. but Or maybe it's supposed to be a marshmallow. I don't know, but it's got the sprinkles and the little frosting and stuff on it very difficult to see these guys are so tiny but it's all textured like a chewed up marshmallow or something i don't know i don't like how they did this one i don't think it i don't think it turned out well but they didn't consult me first i don't know why really toy companies should start consulting me first because i have some really great ideas and improvements on these toys just saying okay we have a dutch apple pie you guys I'm so hungry right now. I can't. How do people play with these toys? I don't even understand. Go eat a huge meal and then start playing with these. If you start to get hungry, you gotta put them away. All right, I've got this whole pile of baggies over here. Oh, this is kind of cute. I, I kind of hoped that they would do the inner pie filling as one of those jelly see-through type characters type um, colors because that's kind of what it looks like for apple pie but they at least did put the little whipped cream on top which is cute but I did want to see the different color for the apples because it should have been a well, I guess it's a slightly different color but it's really hard to tell that it's a different color from the crust of the pie but it should have been a much darker color maybe I'm thinking apple cinnamon pie but even still I would have liked to have seen that as a transparent type thing or even if it was actually squishy, like the inside of the Nutra bar or whatever, Nutra Green bar. So, I don't know. It's so cute, though. Last one, last one, last one, last one. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Uh-oh, we got a pair of shoes. I wonder if there's one of each type in here. I don't know. But this is Sketch Air by Skechers. There's a little 
airplane on the box here. Oops. Uh, I'm showing it to you the wrong way, I guess. I'm sorry. Okie doke. And this shoe is not glittery. Yay! This is a cute one. This is actually a purple, blue, and pink one, which is actually kind of nice. And then it's got the little face on it. But again, it's really strange that it's not two shoes. I kind of wish they had put both shoes and maybe like an eye on each shoe or something, or I guess they could be twins. I don't know, but who sells a box of one shoe? It just doesn't make sense to me. I don't... I don't know you guys but then I guess you sort of get a twofer but maybe they could have made it a little smaller so you get two slightly smaller ones that are about the size of a single one I don't know I think they could have made it work but they didn't so I don't know but these were super super adorably cute got all kinds of crazy things in here and then in the other one as well and then the original Pringles of course I think this one is like my favorite one and it was one that I knew I was gonna get but I bought this pack first and then I found the grape juice bottle with the cheese Pringles later and had to get that and then I figured I'd do them both in the same video for you guys. So let me know what you guys thought of all of these different Shopkins toys, what you think of the Shopkins toys in general. Also if you know, do all of the ones that come with the cheese Pringles and the grape guy have the same figures in them or is it different blinds inside of here? I know they'll all obviously come with the grape guy because you can see him, but what about the ones inside the Pringles container? Let me know if it comes with the same ones in the certain type of Pringles container or if it's still different blind packs. Also, do you guys get hungry playing with these? Can you handle playing with them and not increasing your appetite or getting food or do you just like only play with them when you're eating i mean how do you guys handle this because they're adorable but i don't know if i can realistically handle owning these you know what i mean especially because most of these are very sugary things uh pie rice krispie treats fruit loops cheeses these are not exactly healthy snacks here so just saying guys not the best for me anyway if you liked what you saw today please 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 hit that subscribe button down below and if you want to get notified of videos that are upcoming and every time we post hit the bell as well make sure you do hit both otherwise it won't work also please send this video to your friends family co-workers and encourage them to subscribe it's totally free to you but it does help support us and show us some love so we really do appreciate that and of course we appreciate you watching and hanging out with us and hanging out in the comments joining us on twitter facebook instagram we love hanging out with you we love making videos for you until next time have a great time playing bye